You've gotten really big, bud. Mm. Hey guys, it's AJ, and this is Ryan. And I know it's a little bit late, but I had some questions on how I made Ryan's. Um, not really wish come true, but, but I kind of, uh, hi Cinnamon, I kind of um, gave him what he asked for. Um, what did you ask for? A camouflage Christmas. A camouflage Christmas. Do you guys know how hard it is to have camouflage Christmas? <laughs> Behind me, I've, I've waited to take this down until this video. Behind yeah, like me, three months late. Yeah, I'm really late. This is just a piece of um, a tent that the kids used to play in when they were little. That's an old screen from an, an old door that we had, and I wrapped it in that material, put a little ribbon on it. Uh, this package back here is just an empty box, and this bow is a scarf. This one here, I just put a ribbon on, and up above, I put Merry Christmas. And you'll see in between the Merry Christmas, I've got some little material there with camouflage skulls. Dad, and Jack, and Cinemas gave us the miracle of soon-to-be puppies. <laughs> yes, we're having puppies soon. And this little package was just a little board, and I covered it and put it up there because Alex is into little skulls like Mommy. So I tried to make him a little happy. I asked him, I said, uh, so if Bubby wants a camouflage Christmas, what can I do for you next year that you want? And he said, oh, I don't care, Mom, just anything. So he won't give me any ideas. But... To go on, the only thing that I found to buy that I could buy on time and really afford, I did find this camouflage tree skirt. And it was relatively cheap. Of course you know, or I wouldn't have bought it. And we have, I have, not we I guess, a collection of teddy bears. This is one. You want to get your bear? This is the bear from when Ryan was born. That's our 1998 bear. And on all of my collectible Christmas bears that I have, we had camouflage hats and scarves and little things like that. And we had them all set up really cute. Now on our tree, on our tree, with some other, of course, little decorations that are sentimental that we use every year. Because there are some traditions that we can't change. I had little army shirts that I made off the computer. And each one of us had our own little camouflage stocking on the tree. That one's mine and Ryan's. And um, there's a Merry Christmas star. And there was a bunch of each of these. But I couldn't have Christmas. I, I did find this one. I couldn't have Christmas without angels. I always have angels for Christmas. So this is um, a soldier angel. And his wings say peace and faith. And I had several of those on my tree. And it just didn't seem right not to have a little girl. So I found a little girl in a camouflage dress and I gave her wings. And those are what we use for decorations. Now, I would have made the boys camouflage stockings. That seems easy, right? But we've been using these stockings forever and ever. They love these stockings because there's a little package on here. And it says, I've been nice, nice on occasion, naughty, very naughty, lump of coal naughty. And Mommy goes through sometimes, and uh, I've got Alex moved down, to nice on occasion. He, he must have done something there towards Christmas. And I told him, I said, you know, it, it'll reflect if it's really bad. Santa might just leave you coal. But it was cute, and they loved these, and they didn't want to give these up. So we did use our normal stockings, and we made cinnamon and... Jack, little green stockings to match, and it says cinnamon. And little prego. <laughs> and last but not least, that mile long chain I made. We made red, white, and blue garland. And we not only had it on the tree, we had it kind of gone everywhere, and the kids kind of had fun with it. Um, the kids had fun helping me make stuff, and did you? Hit your wish? Was that kind of what you wanted? Yeah. Are you happy with it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is what started it all. Oh, Sorry. This is what started it all. Ryan seen this little guy, it's a nutcracker, at um, Dollar General. And he oh, literally wow. asked me to buy it for him. He wanted it. I said, buddy, it's camouflage. That's not mm -hmm. Christmas. He said, I want a camouflage Christmas. So this guy started it. And I bought this guy in October and gave it to Ryan for his birthday as a kind of a gag. 
But uh, we set him up with all of our other stuff. And I even wore, uh, I keep stepping on his toe, I even wore a camouflage nightgown for Christmas morning. Oh, are you going to punch me? Punch me, you big old brute. <clears throat> yes, Ryan is now officially taller than everybody else in the house. <laughs> you have to forgive the way we look. We've been cleaning and working all day. But now that I've showed you a little bit of what we did for Christmas, I can take all this stuff down finally and get things back to normal. So I hope you enjoyed what we did. I hope you had a good Christmas with your family. And uh, remember, it's the little things like this, the little homemade things that you may think what I did looks horrible. But it's something that Ryan wanted, and I think it's something he'll remember that I did forever. And now we have a few things to incorporate every year because Ryan has said, I'm going to join the Army. I think that was his first complete sentence at like a year old. Yep. I'm going to join the army. So, this isn't anything new. He's been camouflaged forever. We've got, we've almost got a camouflage house, guys. There's so much camo in here, it's not funny. He loves his camo. So, anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed, and I really hope that you did something fun like this with your family. Um, years past, we strung popcorn, and we've made cartoon And Dad had a needle go through his foot. Yeah, Daddy had a needle go through his foot when we uh, strung popcorn one year, so we, we don't do that anymore. We, we held off on that because the kids were too little, I think. So uh, that was kind of painful, kind of funny, though. Poor hillbilly. <laughs> anyway, is there anything else you want to say about your Christmas? Nope. Is it something we're going to use every year now? Mm-hmm. Are you still going to join the Army? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear. Or die trying. <laughs> oh, he's, he's really been on it, guys. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys had a great Christmas, and remember, it's the little things that make the memories. Talk at you later. Bye.